Isabel. How dare you get officially expelled from school permanently for beating up the Destiny girls and the Molly gang just because they improved their behaviors and redeemed themselves. That is so it. As of today, your lips are going to be permanently removed from your mouth and you are also getting your hair cut. No. Not my precious lips and I do not want to get a haircut. Too bad Isabel. You really deserve to get your lips removed and your hair cut because your behavior is getting out of balance. I am taking you to the salon to get your hair cut right now. No. Mammy, I do not want to get my hair cut. Please let me stay home and watch the grim adventures of SpongeBob SquarePants and Teen Titans Go. Too bad, Dora. That's what you get for getting expelled permanently for going on a solo crime spree. After the haircut, you will go straight to your room and think about how many victims you have traumatized. Isabel, come over here. The hairdresser will be here any minute now. The hairdresser is here. Can you please give Isabel a haircut? Because she got officially expelled from school permanently for beating up the Destiny girls and the Molly gang just because they are improving their behaviors and redeeming themselves. With pleasure. How is this haircut? It looks perfect. Why on earth did I get my lips removed and my haircut? Because you got officially expelled from school permanently for beating up the Destiny girls and the Molly gang just because they are improving their behaviors and redeeming themselves. When we get home, you are going to be eating nothing but lumpy potatoes and sugary sweets for every meal including dessert, and then you will be going straight to your room and think about what you did to both the Destiny girls and the Molly gang in the first place. Let's go home right now. Wow. And Isabel. If you don't stop crying like a motor car, your mother will turn you into a motor car, and you will be given away to Cecile Bernard, the richest girl in the world.